Wait, before you take another bite of that so-called healthy snack, what if I told you it could be messing with your thyroid? Yes, you heard right. That innocent salad could be playing havoc with your hormones. Stick around and let's unravel the surprising truth about eight healthy foods that could be impacting your thyroid. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. First up, soy products. Tofu, edamame, soy milk, they're all the rage in health food circles. But did you know they contain goitrogens, which can interfere with your thyroid's ability to produce hormones? Yikes. It's like inviting a saboteur to your healthy eating party. Next, let's talk about kale. Yep, the beloved superfood that's in your smoothie bowl. Kale is part of the cruciferous family, which also includes broccoli and Brussels sprouts. While packed with nutrients, these veggies can also be rich in goitrogens. Who knew a leafy green could have such a dark side? Now hold on to your green juice because we're diving into spinach. Spinach is another nutrient powerhouse, but it also contains oxalates. In excess, these can inhibit thyroid function. So maybe don't go Popeye on that spinach just yet. How about those flax seeds you sprinkle on your oatmeal? They're loaded with omega-3s and fiber, but they also contain phytoestrogens. These plant compounds can mimic estrogen in your body and potentially disrupt your thyroid balance. Sometimes too much of a good thing isn't so good. And here's a curveball, peanuts. They're a snack and a staple in many diets, but they also contain goitrogens. Yes, even the humble peanut could be causing trouble for your thyroid. So before you reach for that peanut butter jar, you might want to think twice. Next, let's dive into millet. This gluten-free grain is often hailed as a fantastic alternative to wheat, but it's another goitrogenic food. If you're loading up on millet, it could be sneaking in some unwanted effects on your thyroid function. Bet you didn't see that one coming. Now here's a shocker, your morning coffee. We all love a good caffeine boost, but too much caffeine can affect your adrenal glands, which in turn impacts your thyroid. It's like a domino effect of endocrine chaos. So maybe consider switching to decaf after your first cup. And finally, iodine. Wait, isn't iodine supposed to be good for your thyroid? Absolutely, in the right amounts. But here's the kicker. Too much iodine can be just as harmful as too little. Overloading on iodine-rich foods like seaweed can throw your thyroid out of whack. Moderation is key, folks. So what's the takeaway here? It's not about demonizing these foods, but understanding their impact on your body, especially your thyroid. A balanced diet with a variety of foods is crucial. Maybe rethink that extra serving of kale or soy milk smoothie. Your thyroid will thank you.